I played the first two levels of this game, and I think they are a lot of fun. This game is very enjoyable. But the title, dear God, Scat, Scat, that has to be the worst fucking title for a video game ever, ever, in human history. Do those people in Japan know what that means? Do they know what it means in English? Uh, maybe they should look in the Urban Dictionary. Scat? Come on! I mean, why don't they just name this game Fart, or Turd, or Dirty Dirty Poopy Pants? I mean, <laughs> they couldn't make a worse title if they tried. I mean, yes, I know it's an acronym for Special Cybernetic Attack Team, but just... It's a stupid title. It's terrible. They should have gotten rid of it. Well, let's just get to the game. Okay, so here we go, Scat. Dear God, I can't get over how bad of a name it is. Couldn't they named it Scar, or Scan, or hell, maybe even the Skate? No, they had to name it Scat. Good job, guys. Way to go on that one. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Emergency, emergency! Alien forces are attacking from Sector E-804. Where the fuck that is? All military personnel to mount a counteroffensive. Okay, is this guy mounting a counteroffensive, or is he going to the bathroom? Or is he dancing? I don't know what the fuck he's running to. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Shake it. Yeah. Wow. Somebody stop me. Great. Who the hell is mounting this counteroffensive? Friggin' James Brown? I mean, come on. Oh, at least they got some good rhythm. Oh, there's another guy going to the bathroom. This is not a drill. No, it's a dance rehearsal. Let's everybody get up and dance. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's play. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy. He looks like the fucking dumbest guy in the world. Uh, I like Chalk. Chalk is fun. <laughs> oh, God. Let's destroy them. The Earth is counting on you. Good luck. Yeah, well, if the Earth is counting on me, then I guess the Earth is fucked. Okay, on a more serious note, I think the graphics in this game are superb, especially when you consider it's a 1991 NES game. You know, the lightning and the buildings, they look very good. I mean, not perfect, but what do you want? It's a NES game in 1991. And another thing I absolutely love about this game, you can touch the ground and not get killed. Uh, developers of Silver Surfer, please take note. You can make a freaking game where you can touch the ground and not get killed. It is allowed, alright? God, I hate that fucking game. Oh, dear God, I hate fucking Silver Surfer. I mean, he's the fucking Silver Surfer, and he fucking dies if he touches the ground. How stupid is that? Or hell, if he touches anything. I mean, at least the game developers got this part right. Nothing else. Another thing I love to do in this game is play with my balls. Well, not literally play with my balls, you know what I mean? But these balls that are floating around you are very, very useful weapons. You see, you can use them as offensive or defensive weapons to cover your back. And they come in very handy in certain spots, especially when you're surrounded. And also, you can change their position by pressing, I think it's the A button. Yeah, as you see, they can go backwards and forwards and cover your back, cover your front. And besides, who says it isn't fun to play with your balls? I love to play with my balls all the time. Especially when my balls can kill other people. These enemies are really friggin' weird. I mean, what the hell are they? I mean, I just I have no idea. I mean, look at them. They look like, I don't know. They look like the aliens went down to one of the local Quiznos, broke in, and stole the flatbread Sammies, and then just transformed them into cybernetic killers. I mean, I have no fucking clue what the hell those things are. I really don't. These things, I don't know what the hell they are, like mobile trash cans that shoot atoms at you? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? And I don't know what the fuck these things are. Maybe like homicidal alien sperm? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. What the fuck is this thing? Seriously, what the fuck is it? It looks like, I don't know, some kind of glaucoma tester. You know those things at the eye places that shoot puffs of air into your eye to see if you have glaucoma or not? That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. I mean, what the fuck? Why do these aliens have all these goddamn cheap enemies? I mean, what are they, on fucking welfare or something? Or worse, did they decide to invade Earth on a budget like they didn't want to spend too much money? So they decided, what the hell? We'll break into Quizno, steal the flatbread Sammies, break into the optical places and steal the glaucoma testers, and we'll break into the Walmart and steal all the trash cans. Yeah, it's real great, guys. Real way to save a buck. Although the enemies are bargain basement, there are a lot of them, and they are fucking merciless. They will attack you at all times and come at you from every angle. But on the other hand, I kind of like the fact that they just don't stop coming. It really contributes to the excitement and tension of the game. I mean, you really have to be on guard at all times. Another thing I like about the game is how it forces you to go up and down and forward through the levels. I mean, at first you might be annoyed because the game forces you to go forward whether you like it or not, and usually right into enemy fire. But after a little while, you'll get used to it. I mean, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty exciting. 
And at least it's not like fucking Silver Surfer again, you know, where you if you touch the ground, or hell, if you even touch a fucking enemy farter or a rubber ducky, you're dead. You can touch the walls, you can touch the sky, you can touch everything. The only thing you can't touch is the enemies, which is fair. This game does play fair. Say what you will about it, but at least it does play fair. Another thing about the game is that you have to avoid shitty weapons like that laser. Don't pick it up. You know, like Contra or Super C? Don't pick up the fucking laser. It fucking sucks. Whoever made the fucking laser should have their balls run over with a freaking cheese grater. The music in this level isn't that good, to be honest. Or at least I don't think it's very good. I mean, it's not ear-bleedingly bad, but... I don't know, it just kind of annoys the shit out of me. It seems like a tune that's better suited to, like, Dance Dance Revolution or something. Or maybe a hoedown, I don't know. I mean... Your mileage may vary, though. Of course, you'll probably be so busy fucking killing enemies that you know, the music won't even register after a while. Which is fine by me, because I hate it anyway. Okay, so here we are at the boss. Jeez, this is one long boss. I wonder what the fuck it is. Oh my god, it's a big metal vagina. I better watch out. Jeez. So I guess the whole uh, mission of this level is to get this big metal vagina pregnant by any means necessary. Come on, get her pregnant already, you know? Jeez, I just took extends an hour ago. I should be getting her pregnant by now. Well, I guess I'm shooting fucking blanks. Damn it. God, this game is more sexual than an H.R. Giger painting. Get her pregnant! I mean, what the fuck? I didn't have a vasectomy or something. Gee, come on, get her pregnant! Come on, little guys, get her pregnant! Shit. Mm. Oh, get her pregnant! Oh, great, I lost. I guess his balls were bigger than mine. And he could shoot more sperm. Oh, yeah, thanks. Oh, well. Oh, by the way, you only get one life. <laughs> Not that it matters, because I'm friggin' impotent anyway. What the fuck do I do in the next level? Do I give it to her up the ass or something? I mean, Jesus, I'm having enough trouble giving it to her in the front. Come on. Yes, I got her pregnant. Now she can go on welfare and sue me for child support. So, in conclusion, playing this game is more fun than watching a midget try to give a blowjob while hopping on a pogo stick. If you love games with lots of shooting action, play this game. If you love games with lots of balls, play this game. If you love games with scat, well, if you love games with scat, seek professional help immediately. This is Film and Stuff signing off. Thanks for watching.